It didn't take long to spot the first nice buck of the trip. We quickly size up the situation and begin the stalk. I slowly crept over the ridge and began to really close the distance on the two bucks. I finally ran out of cover just as the buck picks me off. Eh. deals he saw us before we saw him. I locate another pair of bucks in a thick draw. See his horn? I don't see the velvet one. I want to shoot the velvet one. I can't see him yet. Just have to wait. The velvet buck's just to the left. Thirty-two yards, then forty-two. Right there, there were fifty. The smaller buck did get open a shot for a second, but he didn't stop long enough for me to get my bow drawn back. But I wanted that velvet buck. He never stepped out into one of the openings to expose his shoulder. With nothing to lose and time on my side, I decide to take a bit of a gamble on a tough stock after a bachelor group of sizable mature bucks. As you can tell by the way the grass is blowing, the buck soon winded me and the gig was up before it even started. This is the final day of the hunt, and we have managed to find a group of velvet bucks feeding on a sagebrush ridge. As the bucks move over the ridge, I take the opportunity to quickly cut the distance before they bed down for the day.
my excitement, I let the tension off my shoulders for just a second, and that's all it took for my finger to bump the trigger release. A real rookie mistake. Luckily, the situation took the buck by surprise as well. We've waited 30 minutes, a long half hour. Now we're gonna go uh, blood trail the buck and see if we can find him. Well, here's where we hit him. Looks like a pretty good hit. Look at this buck. Look at the velvet. He didn't make it far, about 50 yards. Just an awesome trophy Southern Wyoming mule deer. We had a great time out here, you know, bow hunting these bucks at the 8th of September, and most of them have shed the velvet, but this guy's still in. So I'm gonna hope to save the velvet, preserve it just like it is. Just a really nice trophy buck. Couldn't ask for anything more. I'm Guy Eastman, and remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.